This is Blake from Huntress, and this is Groovy TV. Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Blake from Huntress. Rockstar Mayhem Festival Tour, Denver, Colorado. How the heck are you, sir? Awesome. <laughs> this is a polar bear club compared to what we've been in, man. It's been insane. That's what I heard. It was pretty gnarly. Yeah. And our bus broke down, so we had to go back to van in it, which was we fought real hard not to do. And then we're all driving all through the night and then waking up and playing in 110 degree heat, just like forgetting how to play your instrument practically. Just like, stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> God, that is brutal as all hell. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can't believe you survived that. Hey, we're still standing, you know. But you just finished your set and heard you destroyed the place. How was it? It was amazing, man. I love Denver. Yeah? Yeah, this is, our, I think, our fourth or fifth time. So, I mean, for us, that's a lot of a lot of visits to a particular place because yeah. we're pretty fresh, you know. Well, it's actually been, I've been really stoked watching you guys grow because the last time I saw you guys, it was at Moe's. Yeah. Uh, you remember that? And like, now you're on freaking mayhem, was, dude. Moe's was the show with Wretched? Or, yes. Yeah, it was the show with Wretched. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Wretched's good guys, by the way. Shout out to Wretched. They're freaking badass. I love those dudes. <laughs> it's a good, so, yeah, I mean, what's it been like, you know, feeling the band grow and everything, all the success and everything? Uh, it's pretty surreal, man, yeah? to be honest with you. Like, you know, we've, we've all been playing for a long time in different bands and trying to make this happen. And... And to see like the response be so positive to something that you're doing when you know we're we're not trying to do anything to try and please everybody. It's just, when people see your vision and and they're into it. It's it's just an unbelievable experience, you know. The new album's totally badass. I love it. Thanks, man. Yeah, totally. What was it like putting it together? Uh, you know, it is. It just felt like the most organic process I've ever experienced. You know. Your first record is a whole bunch of material that you've overthought for too long and rewritten a million times and had ha half a dozen people involved in it because everybody's played and heard it and recorded it, or, you know. And then the second one was like, Whoa, we gotta bust an album out and fast. You don't go on Mayhem without an album, you know. And it was our first record with Ant Crocomo, who's the new guitar player, and he's just amazing, you know. And to work with Zeus, yeah. He's just, that, that's the baddest dude around, you know? Yeah. And so, it was the first time we ever went, all right, we're going to sit down, and we have three months to write this record. And we did it, and you don't get to overthink it. Everybody's just letting it out, and uh, we're just so proud of the way it turned out. Oh, you know? it is so good, man. I love it. you got to check it out. It's freaking sweet. Absolutely. Now, where are you guys going after uh, Mayhem? Danzig. <laughs> Actually, we're taking a, a trip with Children of Bodom and a Monomarth up to the MTL Festival in Montreal, and then uh, it's huge. Oh, it's insane! And I, I, I don't. It's it's really unreal. And then we're just riding the Danzig train for three weeks on home. It's it's just. We're, last night, Carl, the drummer, and I were like we're just laying in the van together, all tired, and he's like, Danzig, dude. And I was like, I know. <laughs> it's just awesome, you know. Like we were, it, it has not settled in at all. Congratulations, man. That is so awesome. Thanks a lot. I mean, that's a dream tour for us, you know. We've done some amazing. We've had some amazing experiences and opportunities between. Like we started. We spent six weeks with Dragon Force, who are just our our brothers for life. After that. But you know, as far as our, our musical style goes and, and influences, you know, Dragon Force and I are, and, and Huntress are not on the same page necessarily. Right. You know, and same with, you know, like Five Finger Death Punch or, uh, you know, the, we did a pagan fest with all the, the pagan metal bands and we're always trying to find our spot and this Danzig tour is the first time we're like, yes, that's it. That's what we do, you know. That's what the rules. <laughs> right on, man. So is there anything else coming up that's not top secret we can talk about? Uh, a lot of really unbelievably top secret awesome shit happening. <laughs> I'll cheers to that. When 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 I'm able to discuss our October November tour, or is it November December? I have no idea where I am. Or you gonna give me a call? I'll Let call me you. know. Yeah, uh, you'll be the first to hear. <laughs> it's gonna be the tour of the fall. It's gonna be really insane. Right on. All right, man. Well, unfortunately, you've reached the part of the interview where I ask you a bunch of stupid questions. Are you ready? Bring it on. Okay. In your entire touring history, 
all over the world, what's the worst thing you've ever eaten that was meant to be food? Oh, oh man. Funny, uh, the first time we ever went to Europe, we were like, all right, we're going to just not know what the hell the menu says and just go for it. Uh, and it was like, whatever, we love food. And so we go to this, this is fresh off the, the plane in Dusseldorf, our very first trip to Europe of all time. I'm like, I'm in Germany. I've been dreaming about this for 15 years. This is awesome. And we go to this restaurant and the guy does not speak shit with the English. And, uh, and, and all, we're broke as normal. So I'm like, but I'll take that cheap one on the menu. And then uh, he's like, all right, you got it. And he comes out with cold herring covered in this sour mayonnaise. And that was it. It was just a plate of white cold herring. And, it was like, and me and Ian, the bass player, did it at the same time. We're like, yeah, cheap, cheap food. This is awesome. And and he's more adventurous. He brains and eyeballs. Bring it on. He doesn't care. And he he couldn't hang. And I, I mean I'm I'm a total pussy when it comes to that. So I had two bites and I was just like, Ugh. and he couldn't even make it. So yeah, that is gnarly as all hell, dude. Uh, yeah, I just, make sure you understand what the hell the menu says, man. All right, man. One more. Are you ready? Bring it. Okay. How many? extremely angry but unarmed four-year-olds would it take to kick your ass two three how would they take you down kicking me in the knees i mean that's how most people have to take me down i'm like six and a half feet tall so everybody's like man they're all intimidated by me but it only takes two to three four-year-olds <laughs> they're pissed man you said it I'm yeah, mad. Oh, yeah. I'm like, look, guys, chill out. But they're rabid. Yeah, they're, they're mad at like they're that. mad at you. Yeah. Oh, they're like practically zombie mad, right? Oh, yeah. like, practically, they'll chew right through you. <laughs> no, that's terrifying. <laughs> I think it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, I'm not down with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many Chucky Chucky one man took down? How many? Well, like dozens. He's not even a four year old. He's two, and he's not even real. So, yeah. Should we do one more? Okay. Okay. You want some math question? You want a time machine? Okay. If you had a time machine, what would you do with it? <sighs> oh. Ah. I would. I would warp straight to 1976 and watch this, and I would take Jane Fonda to a Scorpions concert. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be a date. That totally wins. <laughs> totally wins. Cheers, right man. on. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, this is Blake from Huntress. And this is Groovy. Mayhem Festival, Denver, Colorado. Rock on. Cheers, I love it. Thanks for having me. Dream date with Jane Fonda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Groovy TV. Woo!